penetrates the female and leaves. Cortis is brief and perfunctory. Break out the nail polish, a bottle of your finest wine, and get those ladies over. Come on, you know I'm gonna merchandise it up, style it up with some shoes. Right. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies for a girls' night. Just because you wear a wig doesn't prove you're a girl. Okay then. For this list, we're looking at the flicks that just scream girl power and go perfectly with the ladies' night in. No matter how many times you see these popcorn movies, they're always a ton of fun to rewatch. Don't sell yourself short now. You've got something going for you that no one in the school has. Oh, I'm not a virgin. Did we miss one of your favorites? Then be sure to check out our list of the top 10 chick flicks on our main channel, Watch Mojo. This is getting good. Number 10, Legally Blonde. Elle Wood. Welcome to Harvard. Kicking off our list and Reese Witherspoon's mainstream leading lady career is this comedy about a girl who goes to Harvard Law to win back her man. Going to Harvard is the only way I'm gonna get the love of my life back. Her fake it till you make it attitude only gets her so far though and her journey becomes one of independence as she learns to be a lawyer. Brooke Wyndham wouldn't have had time to hide the gun before you got downstairs, which would mean that you would have had to have found Mrs. Wyndham with a gun in her hand to make your story plausible. Isn't that right? Along the way, she teaches us valuable lessons such as the bend and snap, the mandatory waiting period before having a shower after a perm, and to always believe in yourself. I think I dropped something on the floor that I need to pick up. So you bend and snap. Never short on laughs, this feel-good movie has quickly become a classic for any girl's night. Nobody can object to that. I object. Number nine, Miss Congeniality. I have a dress, I have gel in my hair, I haven't slept all night, I'm starved, and I'm armed. Don't mess with me. Ooh. It's the heat in high heels. The struggle for beauty is real with women of all ages, and no other film on this list summarizes that struggle better than Miss Congeniality. Oh, shit. Sandra Bullock's tough gal FBI agent Gracie Hart must go undercover to prevent a bomb threat against the Miss United States beauty pageant. Oh, but don't worry, it's it's nothing embarrassing, you know, not anything like, you know, baton twirling or anything. <laughs> Along the way, her coach, portrayed by Michael Caine, teaches Gracie to embrace her inner beauty and womanhood, all the while remaining true to herself. By the way, what are you planning to do for your talent? Sing, dance, chew with your mouth closed? Number eight, how to lose a guy in 10 days. You can't lose something you never had. Men, am I right? Really? Digging into the subtle pitfalls of relationships, Kate Hudson's a magazine writer who writes an article titled, that's right, how to lose a guy in 10 days. What are you working on now? Okay, how should... to lose a guy in 10 days. And for the purpose of research, she must figure out how to do just that. My boyfriend thinks I'm fat. <laughs> As Matthew McConaughey's cold advertising exec tries to settle his own bet to make a woman fall in love with him, this playful comedy hits its mark wonderfully. Hey, you boo! Oh, hi! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you wanna play cards here? Also, for all you fans of the Texas hunk, look out for him again on this list. All right, all right, all right. Shake it up. Maybe I'll be able to concentrate since uh, the woman is driving me crazy. Number seven, 10 things I hate about you. Hello, Katerina. Make anyone cry today? Sadly, no. But it's only 4.30. Who would have thought that the writings of Shakespeare could translate so well to a high school romance? I don't like to do what people expect. Why should I live up to other people's expectations instead of my own? Loosely based on the bard's The Taming of the Shrew, this rom-com sees a young Heath Ledger being hired to woo Julia Stiles in order to allow her younger sister to begin dating, as per the family's rules. My dad just came up with a new rule. I can date when my sister does. What develops is as sweet as it is intelligent, as a girl who shuts herself off from the world learns to open up, and the tough guy learns to fall in love. Is that right? Yeah, but I screwed up. I am. Um... I fell for her. Number six, Bridget Jones' Diary. It's only a diary. Everyone knows diaries are just full of crap. Anyone who's ever struggled with a relationship, job, or just finding their place in the world, so in other words, everyone, can relate to this 2001 adaptation of the best-selling novel. It's the truth universally acknowledged that the moment one area of your life starts going okay, 
another part of it falls spectacularly to pieces. Meticulously outlining the thoughts and feelings of women in the modern world, Renee Zellweger's portrayal of the titular heroine earned the actress an Oscar nomination and set the benchmark for modern chick flicks. So, why do you want to work in television? I've got to leave my current job because I've shagged my boss. As such, this honest yet heartwarming glimpse into the inner workings of a woman's mind continues to resonate with old and younger viewers alike. Oi! Oi! Sorry, the, uh, mic's not wor working. <clears throat> Number five, bring it on. Courtney, this is not a democracy, it's a cheerocracy. This one's for those viewers who don't mind a little competition. You know who you are. As a struggling cheerleading squad finds out their routine has been ripped off from a rival school, the competition gets hot and heavy as they try to reinvent themselves. Awesome! Oh wow! Like totally freak me out, I mean right on! The tour, sure, number one. Striking a chord with many young women, this teen comedy still manages to hit the nostalgia mark with 20-somethings. Since the football team sucks, no matter how hard we cheer, we'll use night games to practice too. It's got everything a girl's night needs. Attitude, playfulness, and style. I'll bring it. Don't worry. I never do. Number four, Magic Mike. the show, Mr. Magic Mike. This one has a pretty solid narrative. Or so we've been told. Bang, bang, boom! But seriously, if you're paying attention, you'll find the story of a young man who gets sucked into the life of a male stripper. Sorry, we mean male entertainer. Alongside his mentor, the titular Magic Mike himself. You don't have anything sharp on you that I can stick myself with, do you? No. Good. Because I do. <laughs> Featuring a who's who of handsome men taking off their clothes, this movie continually has ladies watching in awe of the man candy so artistically put on display. Well, that too, the law says that you cannot touch. But I think I see a lot of lawbreakers up in this house. Here. The sequel may have had more of the top stripping, but the original's the one with the goods. Easy, Rattlesnake. And on three, you know, stick it. One, two, three, stick. Ever since we first saw it, we haven't been able to listen to Pony the same way. Number three, Bridesmaids. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to waste your time. That's embarrassing. No other entry on this list hits such a genuine level as this Kristen Wiig comedy, for which she also co-wrote the script. This is the first time I've ever seen you look ugly. Makes me kinda happy. <laughs> I look ugly. No, I don't. Going on from the outrageously hilarious to the tremendously awkward, this emotional roller coaster will have you feeling for the characters while laughing at and with them. You have three seconds to get back to your seat. Oh, you can't get anywhere in three seconds. Like we said, this film's strength is in its character's realistic nature. Girls of all ages relate to and understand just what Wig is going through, most notably being down and out while struggling to make a real relationship work and maintaining the relationship with her best friend. This is such a stone cold pack of weirdos and I'm so proud. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, The Devil Wears Prada. She hates me, Nigel. Leave it to Anne Hathaway to once again perfectly capture the every girl persona in this timeless classic. There is some reason that my coffee isn't here? Has she died or something? Featuring the queen herself, Meryl Streep, in one of her fiercest performances, the story follows a young journalist as she becomes a personal assistant to the devil herself, and gets more and more intertwined in the snake pit that is the fashion industry. And you have no style or sense of fashion? Well, um, I think that depends on what you're... No, no. That wasn't a question. It brilliantly captures the struggles that every young woman faces and relishes in Hathaway's triumphs. It's not funny. Uh, she is not happy unless everyone around her is panic nauseous or suicidal. It's a must for any group of ladies after a tough week at work. That's all. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Jake, this may sound incredibly dumb, but I love you and I'll do anything to make you love me. I love your shirt. Now hit the ball. Ms. Stoger, that machine is just a lawsuit waiting to happen. Thanks for the legal advice. I skipped everything. I mean, it's like a weird dream. I, I can't remember my life. You need to help me remember my life. Me? Yes. I can't do that. Why not? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. 
but you guys are going to get pitch slapped so hard, your man boobs are going to concave. Because if you love someone, you say it. You say it right then, out loud. I thank you. A very bright, very special woman. The bad stuff is easier to believe. Number one, Mean Girls. That is so fetch. Gretchen. Stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. Let's be real for a second. Fetch is never going to happen. But Mean Girls has already earned its spot as a girls' night staple. So if you're from Africa, why are you white? Oh my god, Karen, you can't just ask people why they're white. Playing teen comedy cliches like a fiddle while going deeper with them than some might have expected, Mean Girls manages to be both personal and hilarious at the same time. I wish that I could bake a cake made out of rainbows and smiles and we'd all eat be happy. She doesn't even go here! In spite of the absurdity it sometimes showcases, the movie hits very close to home when it depicts the social cliques that exist within high school. Get in, loser! We're going shopping! Written by the magnificently witty Tina Fey, it is a must for any teens, 20 or 30-somethings night in, if only to relive the pop culture references. <laughs> Did you agree with our list? This is some serious horse shit. What movie do you like to watch with the gals? How would I know? For more top tens about your favorite movies and more, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. I have to go to the bathroom. I don't think you, I don't think you